Fake news can feel overwhelming. There are Facebook ads and Twitter bots manipulating elections, out of context photos and false quotations manipulating journalists, and a whole deluge of other media that seems like it's manipulating everybody else. It is causing a crisis of faith in the news industry. And worse yet, it's being disseminated faster than it's being debunked. So how are we supposed to sift through the noise and figure out what's real and what's not? Experts suggest throwing out the term fake news entirely and instead focusing on disinformation, misinformation, and malinformation. Disinformation is false information deliberately created to cause harm. It's the social media bots manipulating elections or state news agencies engaging in information warfare. One good way to figure out if you're looking at disinformation or not is to check the source. Do they have some kind of political or financial motivation for putting this kind of news out there? If the answer is yes, it might be what you're looking at. Now, misinformation is false information that's being spread by someone who doesn't necessarily know it's not true. It's the rumors that fly around on social media or when someone uses a fact to make a connection, even when there's no connection there. However, just because the person spreading the news doesn't intend to cause harm, doesn't mean it's not dangerous. Just recently, there were rumors in India of kidnapping spreading around on WhatsApp. Now, a village organized into a lynch mob and went around killing people. Turned out, the rumors weren't true. To keep this from happening, make sure that you verify information before you share it. When in doubt, Check to see if other credible news sources are sharing the same thing. If they're not, don't tweet. Now, malinformation is factual information that's being taken out of context or manipulated to cause harm. Email hacks, hate speech, online harassment, these are all examples of malinformation. Now, if you encounter or you're a victim of malinformation, don't panic. While there are ways to de-escalate the situation in terms of online harassment and hate speech, when in doubt, don't feed the trolls. Curious to know more? We have resources on debunking lies and verifying information in the links below.